When we talk about learning languages through virtual reality, I think some people assume that we're talking about early, low-immersion tech, like non-immersive virtual reality that you can view on a desktop screen, or the first-generation VR headset, you know, the one that had like a cardboard box that you'd put your phone into. While there are some language classes being held in these low VR tech environments, that is not what we're talking about at Immerse. Instead, picture your favorite role play video game. Now picture that you're one of the characters in it. Immerse members use fully immersive head mounted systems and hand controllers that allow them to be immersed in the lesson via an avatar in a visually stimulating location with other members. The use of hand controllers also allows members to interact with the environment around them. The use of fully immersive headset allows for what we call embodied cognition. Embodied cognition is an idea that cognition is closely tied with both physical movement and how we use our senses in our experiences. One of my favorite scenes in Immerse is the backyard scene. Members can swim in the pool, fly a kite, water the garden, pick flowers, make hamburgers, even build ice cream cones, and so much more. But you might be wondering, is all that object interaction just for a wow effect? Or does it have any impact on learning? Well, it actually does. One study that stands out to me had participants learn 90 Mandarin Chinese words related to zoo, supermarket, and kitchen over a period of 20 days. One group learned from a computer program that showed static pictures and played the sound of the words. Sounds a lot like some popular language learning apps I know. The other study group learned from a desktop VR environment where they could explore a zoo, supermarket, and kitchen and hear the words. The picture group needed to encounter the words twice as many times as the desktop VR group in order to learn them. The VR group also retained their vocabulary knowledge longer than the picture group. Only one of the rooms in this experiment, the kitchen, included objects that learners could manipulate. And guess what? VR learners learned more kitchen vocabulary than zoo-related vocabulary. The VR group said that being able to move objects helped them in learning the vocabulary. So while the immersive experience of interacting with the environment and the objects in it is certainly delightful, it actually contributes to the learning. And this is something you just cannot get with a language learning app. 